Hey, it's Denise. Do you hear the totally false enthusiasm in my voice? That's because I just recorded this only to realize that my camera quit partway through the video. And it was an annoying video. So let me just jump back on in there and do it again. Previously, you got to watch me, if I had not screwed up the video, open this adorable box from Hope Box. Look, I'm stabbing myself in the face for your viewing pleasure so you can see me unfold the little paper envelopes. And everything was wrapped very pretty with this paper and this ribbon. And like I said, it is Hope Box, which I purchased directly on Amazon. I'm since my last experience with the subscription box company that I will no longer be dealing with, um, I decided to try a few other boxes and review those and find one that I like, hopefully. So this was on Amazon and it pretty much was presented as like a pick me up kind of gift. You know, that you could kind of send to anybody just to cheer them up. And so it sounded like, you know, just it was going to be a nice collection of little goodies. Uh, it was $36. And I'm going to show you what I got. And I'm, I'm going to try not to see, being that I already got over being appalled, you won't have to see how appalled I was because I'll be able to tone it down now. So you should, and, and you should be in that way, I guess, happy that I screwed up the end of the video the first time because I think I kind of crabbed my way through it because I was just not happy. Okay, let's see. For this general pick-me-up, make somebody feel good, have a good day box, it said nothing in the description about it being religiously related. I have nothing against religiously related products, but I'd like to know when I'm buying one. I'd like to know what religion it is, and I'd like to know if it's appropriate for the person I'm buying it for, whether that's myself or if I'm sending it as a gift to someone else. This box is very specifically Christian slash Christmas, so um, that's something that they could have mentioned. I probably said that 20 times in the first version, so now I'll just say it once and you can see for yourself as I show you the items. Okay, this was uh, $36 for the box and I thought the description said there were six items. There, there are seven, but they are most of them, not all. Most of them look to me like dollar store items. And I know that's harsh, but when I show them to you, I think you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, let's start with the ones that don't look like dollar store items. We have organic Christmas, and yes, it says Christmas on the front, soap. It apparently is clove scented. It says there's clove oil in there and I think rosemary was the other thing that's in there. So it's um, it's very pretty the way it's packaged. I don't know if you can pick up the little sparkly bits because it's, it's like a matte finished paper but there, there are like little glittery uh, sparkly bits stuck on where like where the ornaments are. So you know, a little extra effort there in the wrapping. I can appreciate that. I make soap from scratch myself, so I would never uh, purchase soap individually, but I, you know, I do think this is a really nice presentation of, of a bar of soap. And if I give it to somebody as a gift, they're going to be like, why is Denise who makes soap giving me store-bought soap as a gift? So now it's like, a conundrum here because there's about a couple hundred bars of soap in my house that I've made and the people like my family and friends are used to if I give them soap it's soap that I've made so it's like 
will they think that I didn't think it was nice enough to keep if I give it to them? Or will they think, gee, maybe she thought we'd like something. No, that doesn't make sense. Why would someone prefer a store-bought gift over a handmade gift? Especially if you know how to make the stuff. I mean, if I tried to make a handmade gift of, like, knitting you a sweater, trust me, I'd rather stop the store-bought because I don't knit. But I do make soap and lotion and body butter and all those kind of things. So it would seem a little odd for me to give a store-bought version of that to someone as a gift. So I might just donate that to um, the local uh, outreach center, which is sort of like everything but food, but, if, you know, in the food pantry spirit. They take donations of clothes and other, you know, household type items and give them to folks in need. So I may just give it to them. Next, we have, uh, continuing the Christmas theme, we have this lovely, and it assures us that it was made with love, crocheted candy cane ornament. Um, it's cute, and if someone I knew made it, the fact that it's a little bit, you know, it has distinct personality. I'm going to put it that way. If, like, someone I knew had made it, I would probably find that endearing. But to get it as, like, a professionally made thing, and it's kind of wonky, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Yet another Christmas tree ornament. And, okay, b before I sound all negative and say it, where have you seen Christmas tree ornaments that feel like plastic covered in glitter and generally cost about 99 cents each? It looks and feels like one of those. I'm sure this, this card is going to tell me that it was made by woodland nymphs and... Uh, Whatever. Look at me. I, I took my glasses off because I thought I was done reading. Uh, yeah, that, that previous candy cane was Gwen's Handmade Gifts in Indiana. The soap was Love and Luck Soap made in Colorado. Um, the Christmas tree ornament says it was designed with love in Virginia. But I feel in my heart it was mass-produced by children in China. I'm being harsh, I know, but look at this. Does this look like a handmade... No, this looks like what you buy at the dollar store or at Walmart. For $36 for this box, I was expecting higher quality items. Uh, next we have these two little mini snowman... Uh, bath bombs. They have little faces on them, which is kind of cute. These are like golf ball size. Personally, when I make um, bath bombs, I usually make them like in cupcake, the silicone cupcake liners, so that there's actually enough product to make your whole bath get that sort of, you know, foamy or scented or colored or whatever it is you're going for in your bath bomb. So I'm always a little skeptical of bath bombs this small because generally by the time you fill a whole bathtub with water, even both of these are not as big as one bath bomb that I would normally use. Uh, okay. Onward. We have anti-aging facial mask. Which, at least this one doesn't say Christmas. It has, uh, although it does say it's eggnog-flavored. I don't know that I want to smear eggnog-flavored stuff on my face, but, hey, it might smell nice. It's It's got, like, a nice winter-theme look to it, which I can, I can appreciate. 
you know, the little, looks like a little holly sprig. That's, you know, to me that just says winter. It doesn't say a specific holiday or a religion, so that's, that's a nice thing. Um, this was made in Korea. Okay. We have the Joy to the World, and it turns out that is the name of the, no, is that the name of the scent, or that's the name of the, I think it's the name of the scent. Um, the candle, where is the candle? Deck the Halls, which is smaller and I didn't put my glasses back on. Deck the Halls is the name of the scent, so, uh, it's a double wick candle. It has like a sort of outdoor woodsy mild pine scent. It's actually, it's actually nice. Uh, it's a pleasant scent. Sometimes, you know, when you get pine scented items, they can be either too artificial or too air freshener, fake tree scent, um, which this is not overpowering. It's, it's actually a very pleasant scent. I, I could see using this or giving this to someone as a gift. I, th I think they would like it. And the final item, which I have to say I found personally like the most annoying, um, it says, well, the description of it is, um, Miss Kitty's Paper Oddities Nativity Lantern with Battery Tea Light, Handmade with Love in Germany. So again, we're back to nativity. It comes with one of these little, you know, the, the fake tea light, which you can get 10 of these at the dollar store. Um, it is safer than using a real candle, especially because you have to put together this paper ring of nativity scene and then stand up the, the little light in the middle of it if you are so inclined. I'm not so inclined. Um, wow, for a gift box that was very specifically um, Christmas slash Christian, I think they should have made that really loud and clear in the description that that's what it was. And again, I have nothing against anyone's religion. Um, any positive celebration of faith is a great thing. If you're not preaching hate and, you know, putting down someone else's beliefs, then go for it. Enjoy your holidays. Celebrate your faith and let other people do the same. But if I received this in the mail, not being Christian myself, if I received this in the mail, I would be like questioning if the person who sent it remembered who they were sending it to, because I would assume they knew it was Christmas themed. Um, I also would not have thought when you look at the fact that most of these have the look and feel of dollar store items, um, I would not have thought that this could have possibly cost more than $15 and it was $36. So I would feel like a cheapskate if I had sent this to someone because I don't think they would have thought I spent very much at all on it. And forget it, if they weren't Christian, they definitely would have been like, what was she thinking? So, um, I will not be ordering another one of these. <laughs> Maybe other times of the year, they don't overly focus like this. But the fact, I mean, soap that says Christmas on it, okay, fine. One item, you know, that's specific to one holiday, fine. I don't think most people care. I'm not uptight about that kind of thing. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever. If you sent me a gift or a card, I appreciate the thought. I don't, not one of those people who's uptight about ex the exact wording of the, 
the card. But you're going a little past just the merry, standard Merry Christmas when you actually start going into nativity scenes, especially cheap paper ones that I have to put together myself and then put, you know, like a 10 to 25 cent uh, fake tea light inside it. That's pretty specifically for someone who's who's Christian. And, you know, the Made in Korea face mask, not impressed. The, the two Christmas tree decorations, not impressed. Um, yeah, I will not be buying Hope Box again. Like I said, this was purchased on Amazon. Maybe Hope Box has their own website, and maybe there they would have given away the fact that they have a particular religious sort of affiliation or um, vibe to their to their gifts. Uh, but like I said, I bought this on Amazon, and there was no indication of that. So would I buy another one, either for myself or to send as a gift? No, I would not. And again, that's for two reasons. It is because of the non-disclosed religious theme of, of the box, and also because the items, in my opinion, look like dollar store stuff. They do not look like quality, handmade, you know, stuff that I would buy for someone that I wanted this, this would not perk me up and make my day if I was going through a particularly rough time. The fact that someone thought of me and sent me something, that would always make my day. But a card would have made my day just as much. Um, these items themselves are not things that I'm really going to use. And so I'm probably going to donate most of them. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to donate most of them. And maybe somebody who doesn't, you know, have anything for Christmas, maybe this will make their day. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back when I get my next subscription boxes. I've ordered from two other companies. I've ordered from FabFitFun, which is a quarterly seasonal uh, box. And I ordered from Harry and David's. I did a six-month fruit of the month, uh, subscription. Uh, if you're not familiar with Harry and David's, they do awesome, uh, as far as fresh fruit and, you know, fruit and cheese and those type of, of, uh, of gifts. They, they're really top notch stuff. So I've purchased from them before, both as gifts and for myself. So I know the quality of their stuff is good. I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, how, how the gift, how the presentation of it as a subscription box, as a gift box looks. So I should be getting that sometime. Uh, the first box would be the December box. And I believe the same is with the, I'm sorry, I apologize. The notifications just are making those little noises. Um, but the other one who I, the FabFitFun, which sometimes I find myself putting them in the wrong order. They're also seasonal, but I believe I got my order in in time that I'm going to be getting the winter box so that I think will be within a month. And so once I get those things, I will have videos of them. In the meantime, uh, everybody enjoy whatever holiday it is you may be celebrating, or if you're not celebrating a specific holiday, uh, just try to enjoy the season and the, I was going to say the beauty of the weather. It's snowing outside right now. If you didn't already have a ton of snow on the ground, you might be thinking that's beautiful. Where I live, we we get lots of snow, so looking out and seeing snow does not necessarily make for a happy Denise. Anywho, I hope uh, this at least lets you know so that if you're considering buying one of these boxes, now you have a better idea of what's in it. If it's something that appeals to you, then great. Um, but if it's not, at least now you would know before you sent it to somebody or bought it for yourself, you would know what was in it. 
and that's it. Have a great day, everybody.